We have said that the nucleus is the control center of the cell, but both the nucleus and the cell requires proteins and fat for its functioning. So for this, there's an organelle which produces the required proteins and fat, and it is present close to the nucleus. It is so close that it emerges from the outer membrane of the nucleus and extends to form a large network of sheets and tubes which is present within the plasma or the fluid of the cell. So because of the location and structure, this organelle gets its name as an endoplasmic reticulum. Uh, are we good till here? Yes, so moving on. If you observe this large network under a microscope, you will see that some part of it has particles or grains attached to it. But what do these particles actually do? So just as how we get our proteins from the food we eat, cells get their proteins because of these particles which are called as ribosomes. And because of this, it appears rough. So this part here with ribosomes is called as a rough endoplasmic reticulum. But what about the part where we do not see any particles or grains? This part that appears smooth because of the lack of ribosome particles is called as the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. It produces fat molecules required by the cell to build up its covering or as we know the cell membrane. Isn't this fascinating? But apart from this, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum only in the liver cells has an important additional function. We humans, knowingly or unknowingly, may tend to consume many toxic or say dangerous materials like say drugs, alcohol, pesticides and insecticides which can get into our system by the food we take. So the smooth endoplasmic reticulum in the liver cells helps to detoxify or remove these harmful substances from our body. And that is why the liver is known as the purifier of the body. And this brings us to the end of the endoplasmic reticulum. If you want to know more about biology, do subscribe to Let's Tute.